Sue in Wareham on the email, mike.powell at bbc.co.uk. How can I, in my dreams, live in different houses that I've never been in before? Uh, I recall the details, such as furnishings, cupboards and gardens. I was in a lovely old house last night in my dreams. Uh, Shabby chic, tiled floors, lovely overgrown garden. Sometimes I know I'm in different countries. Honestly, I've never been in these houses in waking time, so could Ian perhaps explain it? What's happening for Sue is when we dream of being in a house, we're dreaming about our own self. So what Sue's doing is exploring different aspects of her own identity. And very probably in waking life, she has to conform to a certain sense of identity, usually what people expect her to be and how people expect her to show up. But that's quite limiting for her. So in her dream life, she explores all these different aspects of the Sue she really wants to be and really could be. And what the dream's saying is, in waking life, not to worry about what anyone else expects her to be, but just to be her own self. Ian, thanks so much. And I must just let you know before you go, Ian, uh, that Sue, earlier on, who had a dream on the email, uh, said, really interesting, very helpful. I'm actually having thoughts about exploring what I want to do. So interesting that it's getting onto my subconscious. It's affirmed my confidence to try out things I would be constricted in doing. Thanks, Ian. Really.